Hi. So, haven't made a update video in a little bit, and I want to talk a little bit about what's going on. So, uh, I got an email from the Department of Real Estate, and they were like, yo, your application, there's a deficiency. So I was like looking at it, seeing what was wrong, and apparently one of the classes that I took doesn't count, you know? It's just not, it doesn't help me qualify, and I thought I was done with my classes. So now I have to wait till next semester to take another class, most likely, and that fucking sucks because it means everything gets pushed back even more than what I've already pushed it back on my own, and I just feel like a fucking failure. And, like, I can't get shit done, and I just want to move on already and start my fucking life, but I can't. And my parents are like, you need to get a job, and I know that I do, I just didn't, you know, for a while because I was like, okay, well, I'm busy with school, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm doing an internship right now at Coldwell Banker, so it's just fucking hard because I had a busy schedule, I didn't have time to get a part-time, um, but now I kind of have to, and I have to juggle all three things, and I'm kind of scared for that, because I know I get really overwhelmed, um, you know, fairly easily, and I don't like to admit that, but I do, and yeah, emotionally, I just feel like I've been up to here, and I need a sense of release, I have cried a little bit, which is good, but I just feel like not enough. Um, and my therapist was like, it's okay to feel your feelings, you know, have your little pity party if you need to, like, but as long as you can snap out of it. And <clears throat> I don't want a long-term pity party, obviously, but I'm starting to feel like I fucking need it. And it's stupid because it's, that's not right. Um, there's just been a lot of friction in my, um, in my interpersonal relationships as well with my mother and um other loved ones that's just been taking a toll on me to be honest and I don't know why I I, I feel so calm and and just numb about everything I feel like I don't want to be this calm about everything I want to cry about it and, and feel like my normal self but my normal self is sorry my cat's sucking on his fucking asshole um <laughs> I feel like I just I'm not used to being stabilized I'm used to you know more dysfunctional emotional outbursts and I have found comfort in that over the years unfortunately so me being stable enough to not really be affected by it is getting to me and it's making me feel even worse about just everything and um I don't know what I'm gonna do I feel like this can easily turn into a depressive episode uh but I also really want to take control of my life and, and make sure that I'm doing what I need to do but I'm like failing a fucking class. I got financial aid and so I'm scared that I'm going to have to pay back my financial aid money because of that class. And it's it's getting to me. It's all getting to me. It's like uh, I got a fucking I'm going to be in a seven hundred dollar fucking hole. And um, now I need to take another class that I probably won't qualify for financial aid for if I fail this fucking class. And I'm like slowly ruining my life and I don't know why or how this happened it just happened and yeah it feels like everything's just so slow for me and it's so fast for the others around me and I keep hearing stories of success of other people and I want to feel happy for them I really do and I, I do feel happy for the people around me it's just kind of hard when you're playing comparison with yourself constantly and I feel like the stupidest girl in the world I really do I feel like the dumbest girl alive there's like words that I don't pronounce right 
I don't read enough. I fucking am failing the easiest class in the world because I couldn't bring myself to come in because of a back injury that I had. Another thing, I had like sprained my back and it, I wasn't able to go to classes. I got a doctor's note, but I missed a midterm and I had that fucked up my grade a lot. Um, I'm just very overwhelmed right now. And that's why, you know, partially why I haven't made an update video because I'm ashamed and I feel deep shame for all of these things. And I'm just numb about it all. It's either like shame or numbness and it's fucked up. I just, I want someone to rub my back and tell me everything's going to be okay. And I know I have people in my life that would do that. I just, it's hard to bring it up because I don't like to say, you know, hey, I'm a fucking loser. Because that's how I feel. Might not be what I am, but... I truly believe that I am a loser and that I am the dumbest girl in the world. And it's kind of hard to be there for other people or, you know, which I'm doing anyways because I love other people. It's just hard. And my dreams, it's all bleeding into my dreams. Like I go to sleep at night and I have these like constant weird cognitive distortions and nightmares that I'm doing everything wrong and it validates those negative feelings. It's like I can't fucking escape it. Every, everything, <laughs> it's just feels like every corner of my life there's an issue and it's all because of me. And that's, it's not, you know, fair for me to take all the blame and all the, the credit for all the shit that's stirring in my life. And it's not fair to me and the person that I am. But that's the way I feel. And I constantly feel insufficient in comparison to everyone else. I feel like I'm not even a fucking person. I feel like just a stupid fucking girl.